There are signs that a triple demic might be back this fall and winter. Hospitals and federal officials are preparing for a potential influx of flu, COVID-19 and RSV cases. Joining us now to talk about that and some other health topics today is Dr. Bill Hartman, clinical trialist at UW Health. Let's start with this potential surge come fall. My question here, though, is isn't there always a decent spike once school gets back in session and colder temperatures force more people indoors? Right. There's always a, a pretty decent spike. But last year, we saw probably four times the number of RSV cases uh, in the hospital that we had seen before. Uh, COVID-19 is here to stay. Uh, there's always going to be a certain number of cases, uh, especially when people congregate inside with the colder temperatures. And the same with the flu. Uh, in the southern hemisphere, they've already seen record numbers of uh, influenza in their outbreaks during their flu season. We anticipate the same could happen here. What do you advise people to do if they are worried about the next several months? Well, the one thing that uh, people, especially 65 and older, are going to be hearing from now until uh, the season hits is to get the vaccines. So there's a vaccine now for both, or for flu, for COVID-19 and for RSV. So three different vaccines. Uh, it's, a, it's a lot to ask of people. Last year, only 71% of people 65 and older got a flu shot. Only 43% of those got the COVID booster. So we really have to encourage people to get out and get those shots in their arms. And I know we've talked about this in the past, about them potentially manufacturing something like this. But at this point, there still isn't a dual flu COVID shot in one, right? There, there isn't. Uh, th there are some that are being developed and that are uh, about to start in trials. But at this point, uh, these are all single vaccines uh, that have to be given individually. Let's completely switch gears here and talk HPV related cancers. Cases of them are on the rise, like throat and cervical cancers. What does this tell us and what should people do to keep themselves safe? Well, especially with uh, throat cancers in men, we're seeing a sharp increase in the number of HPV-related cancers. Uh, this is something uh, that's concerning because they think by th the year 2040, this is going to be the most common cancer in men uh, who are middle-aged and older. And so it's something that we really have to keep an eye on. The, the thing that we should know is that there is a vaccine for HPV. And it's highly effective when given early, usually to 11 and 12 year olds. Uh, but this is almost 90% effective against uh, the, the, the chance of developing any HPV related cancer. Because there are a ton of different strains of it, right? Over 100 different strains of, of HPV. But the, the vaccine itself is made up of different proteins that uh, are in the, the capsule of the virus. And so because of this, the, a single vaccine is good against uh, nearly all of these strains. All right, good advice there. All right, Dr. Bill Hartman, we always appreciate your insight. Thank you. Thank you.